Rosemary Leach was one of the best-known actresses of her generation. Following her first role on television in The Power Game in 1965, she was rarely off our screens for the following three decades. She received nominations for a BAFTA on five separate occasions and won the 1982 Olivier Award for Best Actress in a New Play for 84 Charing Cross Road. She lives in Teddington and it was there that I asked her how she got started in the theatre. I left RADA in 1955 but I've got a feeling that I didn't get a job I can't remember whether it was sort of fairly quickly or whether it was a year, because I know that... I think I, I did work for a while in John Lewis's in Reading, living with my sister. I don't know either. Didn't have an agent. A lot of people didn't have agents in those days. No, you just... Until they went into the West End or whatever. They just... Uh, so let's go back to the very beginning. What's your earliest memory of the theatre? Did your parents take you when you were a child? We lived in the depths of Shropshire. My father was headmaster of a village school, a village called Diddlebury, mm -hmm. which is eight miles from Ludlow. We usually went to pantomimes and things. Where was that? Um, probably we'd go to Wolverhampton. would be about the nearest. So how did, so how did you get started? What, what led you to be wanting to well, be Well, did at school, at um, um, secondary school. Well, we did do, you know, little things reciting and as a, as a child and um, singing quite a lot. Your parents weren't at theatrical or musical or anything? No, they were both teachers, which I'm very grateful for because they, you know, they were curious and still curious, you know, not just youthful curiosity. And Daddy was the organist and choir master at the local church. So, And uh, no, I can't think why I... Now, what what moved me to it? Except I think that we moved to North Shropshire, Whittington, and I went to school in Oswestry. I think I was about 12 when we left South Shropshire. And we did plays at school. I can't... It's sort of in the English department, you know, but we did mm. do quite a lot there. I think that's when it started. 14, 15-ish? 14, 15-ish. Mm. Yes. Left school, oh, I, suppose, I, was, I think I was 18 when I went to RADA. Did you go straight from school to RADA? Well, I'm what? not sure if I didn't have spent some time selling shoes in Reading. <laughs> and well, well, how did you get money. from Shropshire to Reading to RADA? Well, my, my sister, my oh. older sister was a nurse and she was working in oh, Reading and when she married and, and then put me up. I didn't go... Well, I did, I did travel daily for a while to, into London from Reading. But when you left Shropshire, you came down to London or Reading specifically to, to get into RADA? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I think it might have been my older sister who suggested it to me, that it might be a bad idea. In those days, RADA was, was almost, as well, as well as the practical side of it, it did a, a history yeah. and things... Which was interesting. So it was like a like a university. Yes, it really. was, and most enjoyable. It really was. Who were you there with? Oh, John Stride. Oh, golly, Gary Raymond. I can't remember any of the girls. I don't think that many of them worked much after they'd, they'd finished. When I grew up, there weren't any girls in the village of my age. And even when I went to, to, when we went to Whittington, there were very few girls. I've all, my friends from a very early age have always been boys. Just more fun, climbing trees. Just and... more fun. <laughs> I did more adventurous things. Yes, just more fun. And it's, it stayed the same way, so I don't, um, I've had a few friends briefly. I think actresses tend to be sort of rather wary of one another. That's perfectly natural because it's such a competitive world. But uh, I went to weekly Amersham. 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 There was a weekly rep. This was before or after? After rather. Within quite a short time, it might have been six months or something, before I managed to get a job as an acting ASM. 
Yes, that's, and mostly it was, you know, putting, helping... So what year was this, 55 age, 56? 55, yeah. 55, 56. So one was sort of helping put sets up and sweeping the stage and putting the props out. And it was very nice, and I learned an awful lot. Do you know who was the director of productions then? I can't remember, a woman with an odd name, I'm sorry. And... Um, she was rather fearsome. I, don't, I think, couldn't have had more than six. They were mostly sort of walking on, or, you know, maids. I didn't, didn't ever have a, a leading role or anything like that because mm. I was an acting at ASM. I was mm. an ASM prime, really. So how long were you at Amersham? About 18 months. And I, can't, I think I went almost... It might have been nearer two years... Then I went to um, to Coventry. Was this already the Belgrade by then? Belgrade opened what about fifth, late fifties, nineteen sixty? Yeah, I think it was. It was yeah. the Belgrade Theatre. Yes, but it was. I would say that I was there for. I think I'm initially playing small part. No, I must have been initially acting and ASMing, but I did do a lot more work. But I was there quite a long time, and then I went to Liverpool, and I can't really remember, and that was as, just as an actress. So what would this be, so by about 1959, 58, 59, you went to Liverpool? Did that you... would be about right, because I did my first television in 1962, but I'd done two years at Birmingham Rep, and, or I'd done a year at Liverpool, and then I went to Birmingham Rep. I can't think who was running Liverpool. Didn't enjoy that quite so much, although the the, the theatre was it was such a long way from home, mm. you know, and it was. Um, but I think Liverpool hadn't reached its prime by then, had it? I think Liverpool reached its prime in the mid late sixties. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But we did do some some quite good stuff. I mean, I've always enjoyed working, but um, I don't know. I met John Carlin at Birmingham. And, and Bernard Hepton and Nancy, his wife, Derek Jacobi. In 1962, you did your first television. Yes. Did you work, then worked mainly in television, didn't you? Oh, for ages. Mm. I, I never stopped. I never stopped. Did you go back and do occasional theatres? Yes, very occasionally. Did I did touring. It was quite late on. You did a thing of Elsie and Doris Waters, didn't yes. you? Yes. Did, and, and apparently, um, when you were doing the Elsie and Doris Waters, one of them was came to see you. Do you remember that? Very faintly. Because Jo tells a wonderful story that her father was a musician. He was in the band in the Trocadero in Leicester Square and he remembers the dirtiest, most risque act he ever heard was Elsie and Doris Waters. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, any part you'd wish you'd played? I regret that I didn't do very much Shakespeare at all. And I think it would have helped me a good deal if I'd had done more classical stuff. But I think the television got in the way. I was, I was very, very lucky. I had, some, had good directors and... Did you find that you weren't... that you had too much television work or you weren't being offered theatre work or you didn't want to do theatre work? I mean, why didn't it happen? I don't know. Um, I presume, because... It was almost sort of like being in a kind of television rep. <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, you, you, you'd get faces which would be in everything, more, more men than, than women. I mean, people, I don't know, Keith Barron, Michael Jason at times, they, they were just, and, and uh, Peter Park were. There Peter were times where, yes, they, where there seemed to be lovely, nobody else. Lovely man, Peter. Yeah, but there seemed to be times, and they would get, I don't know, three or four years, where they seemed to be in literally in everything. And I think to a certain extent you're right, there was a, a you know, a few dozen actors and they worked on television and had no less than It was, people looked at you and they thought you couldn't do it in the theatre sometimes. I'm, I know I went to see various people, but I think it rather put them off that I'd done so much. I was never asked to work for the RSC or the National Theatre. Well, I'm, I'm as good as Judy Dench, I'm sure I am. But well, I was really very miffed to the other day on some quiz and then about who played actresses who played the Queen. And I wasn't among them. And I told many, by many people that I was the best. 
that I was most like her. And, and it's only that I was lucky enough to have met her a couple of times, and it was very interesting. Do you get any feedback from the palace? Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't think I've had the pleasure of meeting her since, since then. Maybe you get struck off the list or something.